caveman questions really kind mm. of leave That's me speechless. <laughs> okay. So. Well, just like at the church when they have these summer things with food and they serve the hamburgers, Leah makes sure that there's veggie burgers there so that there's an alternative. So she makes a statement. So I think in terms of trying to make changes, you know, you have to integrate things and push push things along in terms of educating people and letting them know there is an alternative. And so just by doing that, somebody might ask me a question about it. Um, and, and in the church, everyone has always been really kind and gracious about it. But in other contexts, like at the office, somebody might take more offense to my doing that and um, have some hostile questions, which is where these come in. That's a really good question now. Um, I, at my job, uh, I sometimes we have like pizza day or something like that, and I just say, you know, I don't eat animal products. Can we get a marinara, like a pizza, a pizza pie with just tomato sauce? And then there's this option, and usually that is gone first. I mean, so everybody else eats it too, you know. So it's, it's a, a way. But but it's just um, is is I think Joe said like it's it's having the option. You don't even have to be out, an outspoken vegan. Um, just make it, you know, just and just say, you know, I don't eat animal products, or I like the, I don't eat animal fat or protein because that does sound. If you don't want to get into it, and sometimes I don't want to get into it. I just don't. I'm just not in the mood or something, and uh, I'm feeling a little um, confrontational or something, and I think it's just better to just leave it at that. Just that's my that's what I want to eat, and not go into detail about it. Allergies too. So if, if you don't feel like explaining, you know, especially if I'm in a foreign country, if I don't feel like explaining veganism to a waiter, um, I might say I have an allergy to milk and I have an allergy to dairy because it's that just, always works. yeah, you get what you need. They're especially careful because they certainly don't want you in the emergency room and they assume yeah. them. But, um, you know, then you've made a conscious decision. I'm not going to talk about veganism. I don't want to be... You know, in this particular situation, I don't want to be discussing it. Um, any more questions? Twenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My question here is: What about holidays? What will you eat? Well, for me, I will. Most of my family and friends know now that I'm vegan. I'm out completely out of the closet. <laughs> And if they would want to prepare something special, I am gracious enough to eat it. <laughs> and they <laughs> have gotten me some pretty interesting things. But <laughs> I will always offer to just bring my own meal and explain to them that it's their company that I'm interested in. The food is secondary or tertiary even. So I, you know, give them a way out so that they don't feel on the spot, oh my God, this person from another planet is coming, what am I going to feed her? You know, I give them an option so that we can still all get together and enjoy each other's company, which is what really what holidays are all about. And yet, you know, we can, they don't have to be to, to go out of their way. A lot of people really want to go out of their way when you give them a chance. They want to show you that they care for you, and that's one way of showing you that they care for you, that they went out and looked up these recipes or whatever. And... Like I said, you just have to be gracious enough to eat it. <laughs> that's, that's the way I handle it. Yeah, I'm lucky enough to have holiday dinners with my mom and my sister. And my sister's vegan. And uh, Nick joined us this year for Thanksgiving. And he's almost, he was almost vegan, now is vegan. And um, my mom is very kind to do tofurkey and vegan mashed potatoes and string beans, and so we all have a vegan Thanksgiving. So uh, depending on how big your family is, sometimes everybody's ready and willing to do a vegan Thanksgiving, and if not, I usually tell people, well, why don't I bring, you know, these dishes to share with everyone, and that I know I have something, and you don't have to worry about it, like DJ saying, you know, it's about the company, and it's not like you're going to boycott Thanksgiving, you're just going to um, come in with some other options, and maybe you'll end up opening other people's eyes to how delicious it is as well. Yeah, I love DJ's point. It's about the family. It's about the company. It's not about the food. And for a lot of people, holidays are about the food, but I have a recipe for every single traditional meal, you know, green bean casserole, sweet potato casserole, anything that you have 
um, always longed for as a child, anything that evokes nostalgia. I have a vegan recipe for it, so I'm always happy to bring those two and to surprise people that it's really easy to have these traditional foods and make them vegan. And you know, I always say no animals were harmed in the preparation of this <laughs> of this meal. But I think it's important to bring something that's there. There's enough for everybody. Um, I've been guilty of packing a sandwich and eating it in the car before going in. Um, I know that I'm bringing it's like, it's like a vegetable side dish and there's going to be no protein for me, so I'll do that. But for the most part, I always bring something that everybody can enjoy. And it's a good part of vegan outreach just to show people how delicious vegan food can be and how traditional it can be. I thought packing a sandwich and eating it before you got there was just a normal part of not having the children act so ravenously. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a plan to it. <laughs>